Hello? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Oh, God. Can no. Any- no echoes. Hold on. <clears throat> so, everybody, welcome. Welcome to my stream. So, uh, okay. Let's just get into it. Full screen. Uh, what's up? Um, I feel like a, I feel like a dad in this. I don't know why. I feel like a, okay. Um, hello everybody. Thank you for coming today. So I thought it would be a great day to, um, Okay, I actually just, I got back from the dentist. I actually just got back. I got more of my little uh, retainers that I have to pop in my mouth. But I have them out right now because... Because uh, I'm about to eat a snack. And also, before I before I start a lot of streams, um, I, actually, I usually get like soda or something, if I can, or like some kind of caffeine to like get a little bit more energy. So, I ended up getting Coke, right? I have Coke. And <laughs> in the fridge, um, milk was right next to the Coke. So, I, uh, I thought it would be a great idea to mix the two, finally, because I've never tried it. I've never had Coke milk. And, uh, and so, I have it. Right here, you see this. This, my friends, is uh, Coke milk. Oh yes, <laughs> it's time to try the Coke milk. <laughs> Look at it, it's like creamy and whatever you know, because it's not dark. It's I don't know. It's like coffee after you put creamer. In. <laughs> um. So I I mixed it up. I haven't even tried it yet. It could be, it could be like completely disgusting. It does look like chocolate milk, doesn't it? It does not smell like chocolate milk. Um, so, okay. Don't try it. And uh, Wasabi, what's up? Thank you for the 21 months. Uh, off the TV production law. Best of luck. I know KG would be so proud. Coke milk. Megan Chi, welcome back for 14 months, by the way. Uh, Alapix, thanks for the super. Tobito Uchiha. What's up? I'm doing good. How are you? Favorite character to voice act? It's hard to say. I love playing Ether. My favorite line is when he goes, Hah! His best line. Okay, let's just try this thing. I'm getting, I'm getting hasty. <laughs> kind of scared. It's gonna suck. <laughs> okay, here we go. Coke milk. Woo! Wait a sec. Um, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's actually good. <laughs> it's actually good. I'm serious. What? It's actually, you get that aftertaste, like, you know, you know when you drink milk, like you have that milk aftertaste. That's what you get, but it's 
dude it's not like it's not bad it really it's really not bad i feel like i don't i tried to do half and half i don't know if that's how you're supposed to make it like half half coke half milk okay it's a little carbonated but not really like a, like you you taste the carbonation at first and then boom goes away hmm I'm just trying to describe it. It's just like a, it's like a root beer float, but Coke, you know? That's the best way I can describe it, I think. Yes, Hannah, exactly. It's like a Coke float. I've never had a Coke float though. Um. It's interesting like it's not bad but it's not like I would go to a store and be like make me a coke milk you know what I mean um like okay for me this is like pineapple on pizza okay I, I don't hate pineapple on pizza but if I were to order it for myself, I, I just never would. I would never order, like, if it, if I'm at a party that got pineapple on pizza, I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever, I'm hungry, I'm eating pineapple on pizza, you know, I'm not gonna die from eating pineapple on pizza. But this, I don't know, this is kind of like in the same category, I think. Like, I don't hate it, but it's not bad. Like, if somebody likes it, I can see why I could see I could see that they why they would or why they might like it. It's not like repulsing, you know, it's not like I take a sip. And I'm like, Ugh. um, Kyrie X Sora, welcome back to the earbuds. Jewel drops a fire. Welcome back to the earbuds for 20 months. Amzek Sora, welcome back or welcome to the earbuds. Miss Lucky Grace. Kelly, thank you. Welcome back for 20 months. Hannah, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Uh, Yamaguchi's Yan, Justin Jones, Rivaldo. Um, this is the real talk. Yep, this is it. Yamaguchi's Yan, thank you. Yeah, my stomach will feel it later. My bunghole will explode. Miss M. Thank you for the super chat. Hannah, thank you. Auxilium. Auxilium plays. Thank you for the super chat. It is pretty good. I don't know. It's not like... It's not repulsing. It's not... It's not as bad as you might think it would be. It's just like creamier... A creamier Coke. So if you like the taste of Coke, and you want it to be even sweeter, creamier, and less carbonated... That's what Coke milk is. Creamier. Oh yes, the creamier. Very creamy. Coke milk, the best. Do you like a less carbonated, sweeter, more easily drinkable beverage? then you should give Coke Milk a try for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call now. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the Coca-Cola company. Thank you for sponsoring this stream. Thank you for buying me a uh, Coca-Cola themed Lamborghini. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right. Totally worth drinking that disgusting beverage, everybody. Totally worth it for the ad. All right. 
I say it's time to jump into some Genshin. Um, let's do it. Come on, Genshin. Load! Wait, why isn't it? Wait. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many supers. Thank you guys today. Um I said uh, Hannah, thank you for the other for another super. Brie LOL. New Genshin drink just dropped. That's what it is. Coke milk. Draku. I wonder if it has a similar taste to Dongo milk. I love Dongo. I don't if that's the same Dongo I'm thinking of. I don't know. <laughs> um Koehi, welcome back to the Airbuds. Uh Nani Bean, welcome back to the Airbud Sky. Welcome to welcome back to the Airbuds for 14 months. And Nani, thank you again for for 17 months as well. Oh my goodness. You guys, you guys have been around for a while. Uh Kyrie X Sora, thank you for the ten dollar super chat. This is for your Disney fund. I was really happy to hear you say you're doing something for yourself soon. Have tons of fun. I will. I will have so much fun. Should we really be off work? Daniela, now? welcome to the Airbuds. Justin Jones, welcome. Well or thank you for the five dollar super chat. I can read. Um Skylight Blue. Thank you for playing the main character of Bubble and that character eating cheese. We had to pause the movie and have a loud and funny debate about cheese, and I nearly died from laughing. Wait, did he he ate cheese in Bubble? And that character eating cheese? I don't know what character ate cheese. I can't remember. <laughs> Every character's eating cheese. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thanks for watching. Undead Breaker. Thanks for the super chat. Um, I met you at Fan Expo Toronto. Right on. Thank you. I'm glad that you had a nice time there. I'm glad that... Look, I'm glad that you had a good experience um, meeting me. Because, like... You know, guys, it's so... I know Ganyu's on life support. It's so difficult, I think, when I go to a convention. Because I try to, like... I try to make sure everybody has a good, like, time or a good experience, um, like, meeting me. Uh, but there are times when I've gone to those conventions and I probably should have taken more breaks or I probably should have, like, you know, just taken a few minutes away to, like, really just get back into myself because just meeting so many people i don't know if any human being is like used to that but meeting so many people at once definitely gets just overwhelming it gets a little crazy sometimes and like i don't know i think it's a little stressful just depending on like what is happening in your life like everybody's you know everybody's like people always got stuff happening behind the scenes like i do people that i'm meeting do so it's just hard to, I think it's hard sometimes for certain people to keep that in mind. Um, I don't know. It's just tiring. Not saying that I don't enjoy it, but, uh, but I'm just saying that I hope that people never have a like bad experience from me because I always try to be nice and whatnot, even, even if sometimes the things that people say to me aren't necessarily like they wouldn't necessarily get a nice response in the normal world but because i know people like come from all over just to go to the convention and sometimes see me and maybe they're nervous and maybe they accidentally say something that's kind of rude um you know i just laugh it off and whatever uh but i'm just saying i hope 
I hope that continues to be the case for anybody else like coming to to meet me or even other other guests at a convention. I just hope they have a positive time. Why don't I have any pyro on my team? Sino's not strong enough, dude. Okay, I think I'm gonna fail this chat Mona. Wait. I'm gonna fail this challenge. Can I basic attack with Ganyu? Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> She's so OP. That's why I'm doing the stream, guys. Here, I'm gonna turn up the volume so I can so I can grind. I'm ready to go back on the grind for Sumeru. It's been so long. Kind of missed a lot of the Lantern Rite stuff. Just sort of skimmed over it. Like, oh, sad. Because I love that event, too. It's so pretty. Um, MXOR, thanks for the super. Uh, Resineve, it's 10.17 here in Guam. It is 4.21 p.m. here. Uh, little time difference, just a little bit. Uh... Delay, welcome to the Airbuds. Anit, how's it going? Happy birthday. I hope it's awesome. Yeah, from Sack Anime, I remember you. I hope you have a great birthday. Uh, yeah, my birthday's here in like, uh, I don't know, 15 days. It's crazy. Getting old. Nothing like getting old. Whenever I say that, all my friends are mad at me because uh, just about everyone is older than me. Um. Yeah, there's a lot with conventions. I just hope that, I, like, truly, I just really hope you guys have a have the best experience possible not just meeting me but meeting everybody else like things can get crazy behind the scenes too and sometimes uh sometimes they like they'll tell us uh that i mean it's cool to like be popular i guess um but they'll but it's a little stressful at the same time because they'll tell us that uh they'll tell us like hey you're um hey your what's it called your line is really big and like we have to like start turning people away like from meeting you and uh and we have to turn people away if you don't hurry up and all of this stuff and sometimes they're like yeah you know you need to go faster or you'll have a, a like a person from the convention come and tell you like you need to you need to go faster and try to get through people um so sometimes that's a little like stressful because you don't want to be that person like i've I don't know. I've, I, I, when I first started doing conventions, I didn't necessarily know what I was doing. And we had to, um, we had to like turn a lot of people away on one of the days I was there. And I was only at like this convention for like a day or two or something. And those people, some people like aren't always able to be at the convention for multiple days. So, um, you know, it, it's just like a whole balance. It's a it's a whole balance of things because you just want to you just want to like please everybody. But at the end of the day, you can't always do that. And it's a little like frustrating and sad sometimes, I think. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun, though, going places and traveling and whatnot. What, what am I doing? Why am I just walking everywhere? Um. Kyrie Xora, I'm so happy to hear that you had a good experience. I'm glad I wasn't uh, being a grumpy butt to you that day. I'm always a grumpy butt. It's so funny because I've done a ton of conventions and I don't think I've done one yet with Koi. One time I pranked him and I told him I was at the same convention he was at and he actually thought I was there. <laughs> And he sent me like a message like, oh, I'm in the West Hall of this. Like, where are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm at the hotel, dude. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm walking back there now. And 
<laughs> and he thought I was actually there and I was like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I'm at another convention. <laughs> Cause there's so many conventions that happen on the same uh the same weekend. Next on the agenda. It was really funny though, because he thought that I was actually there. I, I don't know, I think I had him I I said, I don't, I can't remember what I said. This is a while ago, but I told him that I was going to like pull a prank on him or something or to watch his back. So I think he was spending a, <laughs> an entire day just like looking over his shoulder. <laughs> he was waiting for something, <laughs> but I wasn't, I was like halfway across the United States. What do we have? Sure have. My allergies are awful. Ah. Okay. Cool beans, dude. Um. Yo, Takia, what's up? Yeah, it was great meeting you. I think that was that sack anime, right? I think that's where it was. I'm like... It was sometime this year. I'm like, I... Yeah, no, it had to be sack anime. Thank you so much for the super chat. And I'm happy you enjoyed the panel that we got to do too. That was a really fun panel. Okay. I don't know. I should probably be getting materials and stuff, right? I'm just lazy. After I do my dailies, I'm gonna go on a... I'm gonna start doing the Sumeru stuff. And just dive in. I love how you can just destroy these towers and then just leave. You know what I mean? I've never fully understood that. Like, why don't, why don't they make it so you have to kill the enemies? It's like you can maybe if you want to like grind, but you don't have to. You can just run. Just say nope. Never mind. Pew 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 pew. Op op. What is this daily? What the heck? Oh. I don't know. Next on the agenda. Where do I? Oh yeah, that's right. This one's always weird. You have to like go up here and. Yeah, no, I do need some pyro. I'm hoping to build Sino, guys. So I was trying to, uh, I was trying to build him, and then it said that I needed like some beetles from the desert, and I realized at that point in time that I hadn't even gotten to the desert in Sumeru. So I was like, hmm, maybe I need to get to the desert first. But yeah. Okay, let's see. Right. Why didn't I- why did I not put on Pyro? What is wrong with me? Why did I not do that? No, 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 don't turn around. Oh my. This guy's a jerk. Come on. How do I kill this dude? I gotta put on Hu Tao. 
I'm hitting you in the back. Pew, pew, pew. Cool. I think we do. We did it. We done did it. See, there's so much stuff. Like, what is that? There's so many points that I haven't even explored. Look at this. This is so crazy. Should I just spend all stream trying to get all these waypoints? <laughs> no, that would be so... That'd probably be so boring. <laughs> ah, the air is just right. This Coke milk. Hmm. All right. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Nice. We did it. First time I did dailies in a, a hot minute. Um Uh Jules Dropsify, thanks for the super. Excited to see you again at Galaxy Con. Yeah, great show. Really, really great show. Love the Galaxy Cons. Um, the owners are awesome. Super nice people. If you guys haven't, go to a Galaxy Con. Go to a Galaxy Con if you have the chance. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Great conventions. Um, Lucero, uh, haven't seen you since Pasadena. Welcome back for 19 months, by the way. Um, I'm sorry you had a terrible time at work. That sucks. Tobito Uchiha. Yeah. No, oh, Animeverse and Comic Palooza. Both good shows. Love those. Awesome meeting you out there. Nani Bean says, I'm currently trying to ask my local con to invite you. Would you be interested in going to a con in Switzerland? Are you kidding me? Of course. I would love to go. Absolutely. If they, uh, if they invite me out there, like, I will do my best to make it work i mean i don't see why it wouldn't work so you know i just have to probably hop on a flight a little a little bit earlier than than usual but that's fine uh tommy tran yes i do i don't know if you guys knew that i i played a uh, kunihiro kunihiro in uh token ranbu uh and eight and steel Windblade! Huh! 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 That's when Ether turns into his uh, demon form in about two years in the game. Uh, okay. I'm like, what do I want to do next? Maybe the quest? What quest was I on? This one. Nope. Yep. This one. This is what I was on. We'll do the quest and then maybe do some random grinding on a character. Just don't know who. Dark Dream says, for legal reasons, that's a joke. Yes, that was a joke. The ether being a demon. The demon lord. It's just a joke. Unless unless you guys are talking about another joke. It's just a joke, bruh. Relax. Relax, it's just a joke. I've never broke my NDAs. Ever. I'm a master of secrecy. I am a master of secrecy. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. <laughs> I am. I, I, I am an honorary knight, you know. Inazuma. So, just to clarify. What I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted. 
saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So Tainori, what exactly is getting the popcorn. What's happening with Kale? Stress eat. Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. Actually, I'll... characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on Okay, the body. look, I can't... I'm not going to pretend with you guys like I actually don't know about the story because I do know about all of this already. So this isn't new to me. Um, but I just haven't played through this part in the game, so, like, this is my first time seeing this in the game, but I already knew. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, oh, yeah. as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything. Lest she ends up hurting Can you herself. guys hear me? the crunching? With appropriate treatment, is that loud? the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this Disrespect. doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the doctor, years that doctor. Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. been through so much suffering oh by the way paimon kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday she also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness she doesn't need to apologize none of this is her fault at all well said i hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Never. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Never again. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right, now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Wait, can we come along? Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two. We like exploring. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No problemo. Let's go then. <laughs> we'll be looking for a plant. Known they as let Paimon say Lucas. that. It's no problemo. Those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Nice. Oh, sorry, Paimon. Paula lotuses can be found all over the rainforest, 
but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Milot Palo Lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh, okay. Huh. Cool beans. Um, we love okay, plant yeah. information. Yes. There should be Nilot Pala Lotuses okay. growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. Um, Kelly. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, no, super fun at uh, anime. Oh, at that event in New York City, right? For uh, for around the time New York Comic Con happened, and uh, Ulani, thanks for the super chat. I don't remember who I voiced in the Yakuza slash slash Lost Judgment series, but I did play some characters in both of those. Um, and Norma, thanks for the super chat. Yes. If you could manage to gather four, them, that would be sufficient. Is we'll killing me. Here once you've gathered the needed amount. So I gotta get these uh these things. Yay. Yay. Yes. Next on the agenda. Yes. We're getting some more just in case for later. You know what I mean? It's like you always want to stock up. Oh, okay. Hey, Tainari. We found the lotuses you requested. We found them. Let me take a look. Hmm. Good. Very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience oh, helped this game save is me a lot of time. Just so here. chill. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. I just feel so relaxed hey, when playing Tainari. Genshin. I feel so relaxed. Why is it not oh, going? <laughs> Tainari, someone's calling your name. They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. Didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. I'm gonna fall asleep on stream. Is there a way to have a hype stream while playing Genshin? Like, through the story? I just feel like everything's too relaxing. Listen to this music, like I'm in a spa or something right now, you know what I mean? Put on some dubstep. Mm -mm. <laughs> Tainari, like, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been like, already clear just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. I would do the abyss if I wasn't so far behind like in the story. There's just so much. I feel like I could... Honestly, I, I joked around about it the other day. I said I could do a 10-hour stream. I probably won't be able to do that, like, today. Because I have stuff to do. But, uh... At some point, I want to do that. I want to try to clear my schedule and just do, like, 10-hour streams every day. Just pure Genshin. Genshin. Maybe I, like, watch, I don't know, some videos or something. And then... Because sometimes I get bored, right? Like, sometimes I just need, uh, I need to take a break from anything that I'm doing and go on YouTube and just, like, watch random videos. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. 
No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading, so we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. Hmm, I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Wait, Kainari, why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. You're There's right. a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru. Why am I doing place. everything? It's called the withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. Hmm. You know, I can also control the elements. I don't have a vision, but, you know, I'm kind of like cool and stuff. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Hey, that's what I just said. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Uh-huh. Hmm. It seems the rumors it's about true. you are true. I'm the avatar. In case, all right, you two may accompany me. Cool. We typically only Get teach me in visitors there. how to identify the withering as they're about to leave I'm just, Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception. I'm just today. ready to fight things. I'll show you what it looks like up close. Let me fight. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out. I'm sorry. I have to switch them out for right now until I can. Oh, is it time for me to join you? Why did I never get Hoots out to level? What shall we do? What do I need? Why is she not level uh, ninety? Oh. So that's why. How about Hu Tao? Silly Churl, Billy Churl. Silly Billy, Hilly Churl. I have heard that too much. Help me. Just what will we come across this time? Oh no. I don't know, that guy's voice is kind of average. Ugh. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's go to the withering zone. It's right here. Nope, it's over here. Lucero, thanks for the super chat. Uh, I have not played the Dead Space remake. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Look there. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered. That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Okay, uh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm totally listening to you, Tainari. Um, yeah, let's do this. Thank you, but I must warn you. Don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing. After okay. All. I'm Even with elemental powers, once you paired. step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. Cool you beans. Ready, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm here for it. All right. For sure. 
First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Um, Norma, my favorite character is probably Zuko in Avatar The Last Airbender. Or, funny enough, maybe Azula. I don't know. She's kind of crazy. I think... Uh, I just find Azula's dialogue, like her lines and everything, the way that she talks, very interesting. But maybe that's because... I don't know. Voice actor. I forget. I need to hit these little red things, right? And then this, uh... This friend right here is affected by the withering. Oh, ow. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Tumor of the withering. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. Where's the, uh, where's this little thing? Don't I need this? Is it not, a? Uh, it's not working? Oh, wait. Oh, no, you just go up to it, right? Yeah. I forgot about that. Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Diamond have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. Hmm. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants then we have to kill the and withering most disturbingly as the appearances of withering zones have started yes, we to do. increase Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious huh but why is that i'm still not sure of the exact reason however i've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions no, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. I'm just feeling hungry it's today. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermansoul before? Yes. Ermansoul is a tree yes, located I have. deep beneath the surface. Too much. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense. You can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? Yep. They're like the roots of Ermansol, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Sounds a lot like what I saw when I lost consciousness. Ley lines the, oh, continually absorb <laughs> didn't give me time to read world, it. <laughs> which are then funneled into Ermansol, allowing okay. it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient Thanks. times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermansoul. And as for the withering, its emergence... I didn't even know he would have a thought, though. He, it. he hardly ever has That's those. Right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermansoul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right. That's Ether only has thoughts sometimes. Time. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gandarvaville. Maybe a little bit more than his voice lines. 
kind of like they just come out of nowhere like got to put up some missing person posters you know just gonna not have any dialogue for basically for anything until that one one scene opinion on Ty Lee yeah I thought Ty Lee was cool I thought like blocking people's bending was super interesting definitely a useful skill if you're just like a normal person in the world of Avatar Stephanie why does Zhang Li have four star artifacts uh we don't talk about that and Haruka Chan says, uh, hello, Mr. Zach. I hope you're enjoying your stream and I hope you had a great stream yesterday too. Thank oh, you for the happy birthday wishes. You all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that? It's a bird. Oh no, Hapasia. It's your B day again? Yep. Every February. News. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. I don't know why. Oh. Hepasia sounded like a bad word or something, you know? It's just, I don't know why. Like, Hepasia. Yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gandarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously, because this has happened before. Last time, she drew five lines. And by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, hapasia has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. All right. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you we will save Hapasia. Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. All right. So, how do you feel? All right. <laughs> hmm, it's light and a refreshing fragrance. Totally. It smells really? fine. Back when we were clearing the withering zone, <laughs> smells I like fart. That he could adeptly <laughs> manipulate the dendro <laughs> element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? Hmm. What I saw weren't hallucinations, were they? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tevat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. Thank you. When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermansoul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneo are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermansoul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, 
Exactly. She completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a <laughs> That's moment. That's the special phase of my training I'm in now. <laughs> Just avoiding communicating with anybody. Um, <laughs> I'm too introverted sometimes. Uh... Royal Pineapple, welcome back to the Airbuds for 22 months. Glad I made it to to see you stream. I'm glad you also made it here. I feel like I'm gonna burp. That Coke milk is doing things to me. Um, Fox T A. Hey Zach, do you listen to Vocaloid? If so, what's your favorite song? My favorite song is Leia by uh, Luca. I don't remember all the lyrics, but I know it's like Kimi no koe wo kikasete yoru mo kokoro wa arate. It's a crazy song. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it's kind of like handy. it's like angelic also, in a, a like weird dystopian way or something. I don't know. She'll answer any questions you may have. It's just a cool song. I remember the first time I heard it, it gave me goosebumps. No, I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Mmm, that's good. Lucero says, um, when they let people meditate for too long, she was starving to death. I was like shocked when I first encountered this part of the game. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty nuts. Like, don't die. <laughs> and Draku says, off topic, you inspired me to try voice acting. You played David so well in Cyberpunk, so I had to vote for you in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. You make the English dub very entertaining. Thank you very much. And thank you for your vote. I hope I win, everybody. If I don't win, I'm never voicing in an anime ever again. Never. That's a joke. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, thank you, though. It was it truly it was an honor just to be nominated. It was really cool. I I don't think I've ever been nominated for something before. So, I mean, just being up there with a bunch of other awesome actors and. Like, I think everyone's really excited just to, just to kind of get that cool, like, publicity. Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. What was that sound? What was that? Paimon? Paimon! I'm gonna just turn him into Mickey Mouse. Oh boy! It's Apasia. <laughs> what the? Huh? Nara Ara. Okay. Here, you are. Here I am. Hi, Pesha. Are you all right? Oh, hey, Pesha. So or is it Hapesha? Need <coughs> water. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What is up with this? Hold on. Like sometimes I'm just shocked by like what. Like, what the what the dialogue should say here? The choices it should say, "Oh my God, let's help her." Like that should be an opposite option, not like, "Man, hmm, she looks real. She looks famished." Like that's what I that's what I say when I'm like, at, I mean, I don't I don't actually say that, but that's what I think in my head. Like, oh, I'm famished. Like I'm kind of hungry. This is like, oh my, like she's dying. Someone call nine one one. 
she somehow's more she somehow has more energy than I expected like what you expected her to be dead maybe that's it yeah sure there's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition uh, let's try finding some water first huh wait why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden uh, anyway let's go look around I'm calling 911. Call the ambulance. Stephanie, welcome to the Airbuds, by the way. Thank you. And Chandler, how's it going? Thanks for the happy early birthday. I hope everything's going good for you over in Spain. Thanks for coming back for 10 months. I don't know. We walked through the thing and now we're in a no man's land. Relax, Paimon. Really? Oh, maybe you're right. It's all good. Let's go investigate the area. We got this, Paimon. We always do. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Woo, this is cool. Um, bum, bum. Oh, whoa, whoa. Next on the agenda. Wow. This place is huge. Wow! Wow! Something off about that cave. I I knew let's it. Think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Okay, let's go. Let's Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Yeah, Paimon, let's go. Ooh. <laughs> bouncy mushroom. I love bouncy mushroom. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, okay, get me up there. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, where are we? We're in the abyss. All right. Huh? What happened just now? Why'd everything around us suddenly change? Good question. We're way behind schedule. Yes, we are, Ganyu. Cadence should have gave her your coke milk. I know that would have woken her up for sure. Okay. We got one of these. This is really pretty though. That's the thing is I really want to I want to get a nice monitor. I'm playing on a on a kind of old monitor right now, but I want to get a really nice monitor so I can experience Genshin in the highest resolution 4K. On the All the pixels, maximum graphics. Can I not climb up here? Like, what is happening? Can I just uh? Can I not? Can I not just go boom? Oh, what? How am I supposed to, uh... Oh. Whee! Music's so pretty. We're way behind schedule. No touching. I can fix this. All right. Boom. Next on the agenda. Whoa, wait, where am I going? Wait, I want the chest. I didn't mean it. I stopped flying away. I want the chest. Are you serious? I 
are you serious right now? <sighs> well, okay. You never go back. That's awesome. Thank good to know. Wow. Get me up here. Can can I not climb anymore? Like, what happens? Is my climbing ability gone? Do I have to use those things? Okay, fine, I'll do it. Sometimes I just like to climb. Uh, Christine, I don't believe this is that uh, that quest yet. I don't think. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's kind of later, right? Right, I don't feel so good. What's happening? Must stay go courtyard far down the corridor. Get me in. Get me out of here. All I see is Inazuma. We're way behind schedule. Yes, we are. What do I do? What am I supposed to do? Get ah, get out of here. And then uh, ah, ah. Get me out of here. What do these rocks have to do with it? Am I doing, am I doing it? Did I do it? What, uh... You gotta align them. Move back a little? Oh. Oh! It tells you where to stand and everything. Okay, that was... That does not look aligned to me, but okay. Sure. Get me in there. I'm so excited, guys. I'm excited to catch up. Spill the tea. I got a lot of tea to spill. But I think it's gonna... I got so much tea to spill. Like what I had for breakfast today. It was so good. Just kidding, I didn't eat anything. Kamaisa, thank you so much. I'll read your super chat in just a sec. I think I'm gonna fight this dude. Kind of mean. Bow before the abyss. Never. I will never bow before the abyss. Next on the agenda? It's me. Born of ice and frost. They call me Manther. I love how I'm not even using him. <laughs> Windblade. Scatter! 
<laughs> that was not Windblade. Um, <laughs> Dendro Blade. Whoa. Time to go. Or I could just whip out Ganyu. Watch this. Boom. What? What are you trying to do, dude? Why can't I? What do I need to do to this guy? Huh? Why can't we beat this guy? What do you mean? We could have. Paimon doesn't get it. We faced others like him before. What's wrong this time? Traveler, though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. I still must find Lumine. Yes. Your sister. <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Lumine! Her Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Damn. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. I know some people don't like their siblings, but Jesus. Don't you now. Today will be your last. Now die. This guy's angry. That was harsh, Harold. That was harsh. I believe that's uh, Kellen Goff who plays the Abyss Herald. Pretty sure that's Kellen. It was a dream. Maybe. Possibly. What do we do? We haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. Oh, there she is. Quick, let's see how she's doing. Ah, oh, so sweet. Mm. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Yeah, sorry, I, uh, kind of zoned out for a second there. Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Whoa, wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. Those are some we big fruits. Good use. Why is that fruit massive? Did you guys see that apple? Uh, they always like that. Who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. We gave her the letter. Nice. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Yes, yeah, spill oh, the tea. Really? Hmm, 
tell us how. I understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? I'm so comfy right now. You guys just don't even know. I'm chilling. I'm so, I have like a, I have a little ottoman or whatever this thing is to put my feet on. And it, like, this is so, this is so cozy. I am so cozy here. This chair is awesome. Oh. Ugh, I need to, I'm gonna have to take a nap in a few hours. Um, then get right back to work. I got auditions to do. Oh? So you're able to see them too? Oh, here, I gotta, I still gotta read some supers. Wait, hold on a second, Traveler. You say that before we arrive, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. I had a trip. Um, Kamesa, or Kamesa says, uh, oh geez, you've got like 10 plus hours of content to catch up on. I know, seriously. Uh, I hope you enjoy the Sumeru requests are great. It felt really neat watching so many characters come together and have more active roles in the conflict. Yeah, no, I mean, the story is awesome. Like, I loved how crazy Sumeru got, uh, reading through the, reading through some of the scripts and, um, you know, Hoyoverse kind of filling me in on what is happening. I was kind of surprised. So I'm excited to to get to get through it all. Yeah, I know there's a lot still. I should just like one day just sit and do it all. Um, Amy Pond says, how much of the main quest do you know ahead of time? Do you get surprised by any plot twists? Um, I know certain things like a little bit ahead of time. Uh, and then there are other things that sometimes I sometimes I ask for and kind of get you know little leaked a little bit more than I should know I'm not gonna say too much actually <laughs> but um, I know I some things I know uh, some things I some things I know some things I don't know for sure uh, McKenna says yo Zach I give you the honors to pick who I draw next Sino Tainari and Scaramouche uh, do you mean like draw all draw all of them together you should draw you know what draw some draw some scaramouche if you're asking me to choose out of the three of those i want to see some scaramouche uh and kimmy says zach super important question have you seen the new puss in boots movie if you haven't what are you waiting for go it's so beautiful you needn't worry. Do I need to watch another they Puss in Boots are. movie before that one? They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. Last time I saw Puss in Boots was in, like, Shrek. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. What fascinating creatures. Yes, no yes, doubt they about are. that. They're so By fascinating. The way, 
Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. Same. I feel that. I'm s I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry, too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. They're our specialties, after all. Mm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> What's that? You saw me put my hands in my mouth? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Um. Gotta wear my Invisalign. It's not actually Invisalign. It's the cheaper version of, of Invisalign. Whatever the cheaper one is called. I don't know what it's called. Like Smile Club or something? I don't know. Um. <laughs> I actually have no idea what it's called. Lady Daniela, welcome back for 12 months. You can get Universal Studios Hollywood tickets through the military? Hmm. Tom Millennial, welcome back to the Airbuds. Uh, Kira2020, uh, what's up? This Archon Quest is long. Yes, it does feel like that. It does feel very long. I'm feeling it. Uh... Uh, Tant 255 who's the most notable character you've voiced notable maybe the most popular is uh, Tanjiro Possibly Tanjiro Kamado I'm like I can't even do the voice <laughs> I have to like think about it. I'm like Tanjiro Kamado All done. Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us Water blade Smells amazing. And the box is a nice touch, too. Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia. Do I miss Tanjiro? I do, my son. No, I don't miss him at all. I mean, I eat, sleep, and breathe Tanjiro, you know? He's <laughs> he's all around me. 24-7. <laughs> We're way behind schedule. I got Tanjiro. I got a picture of Tanjiro in my living room. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's always there. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Well, it's not my forte either. I don't know how to cook. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermansoul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that wow. some researchers spent their like... entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin Soul as you have. Then I'm like a legend so or something. Does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin Damn, I'm awesome. The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the Hypatia's voice actor did a really good job too, by the way. Soul, Just gotta say that. We can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Uh, yeah, you kind of lost me. That's all right. I'm sure you'll come to a clearer understanding as you remain in Sumeru. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question.
question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload, hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spirit Born Ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. What? Whoa, you really to serious, have pounding I'm headaches for the you. rest of your life? Do you realize what you're saying? You want to be in agonizing pain for the rest of your... <laughs> like, what? That's pretty crazy. I don't know if I agree with that one. That's, uh, that's a little nuts. That's a little cuckoo. Uh, Lucero says, if I'd be real, when Scaramouche was announced like two years back, I didn't know how to say his name, so I called him Sacramento. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a, so I think that's the one thing I always get stuck on. I'm, I say it, but it's like Scaramouche, 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 Scaramouche. I don't know. He's scary, scary mouche. Uh, uh, Saruka says, hey, Zach, welcome back. Quick question. What is your most favorite part when it comes to voice acting? Um, what is my most favorite part? Uh... I don't know just kind of like working with a cool team i think people who are people who are passionate about the project they're working on is always super fun for me as an actor because then i can like you know pitch them something pitch them and i pitch them an idea and then if they like it and they're like yeah you know what i think that's a good idea versus just kind of like yeah here's all of our ideas uh you know some of them are kind of like and eh, whatever but just like do the lines that there's just the difference it's nice working with like a team that feels like a, a real team and genshin is definitely one of those projects <laughs> i am a researcher after all as a member of the ritawa star everybody's a the team academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living <laughs> beings but there is still so much we don't know especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful. This is a long or quest. Doing so will leave my consciousness intact. Like this is a lot of dialogue. I'm currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru My brain is being flooded with information right now. to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa, so knowledge from Ermansoul could be super dangerous! Don't you ever feel afraid of the risk of hazing? Let's do it, everybody. 24-hour stream. Woo! Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight. And dead silent without even... 24-hour Sumeru insects. stream. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Ah, Le gasp. is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. 
Yo, what's up, Paxage? Welcome back to the Earbuds. Great meeting you at Sack Anime. Thanks for the good stream vibes. Reminds me of the dream I saw from the Aranara. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. Relatable. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recalled the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> Just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Erminsul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Erminsul itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? I don't know. If only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for Pari you. Porna. Uh, Paripurna. 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 Please be sure to come and Por see me. Porna. I don't know. I can't say it. Leave me alone. Thanks, Apasia. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> My cooking sucks. My cooking is not a. It's not and great. To ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. Cool idea. Let's go back, everybody. Woo! I was in that cave for a while. Jeez. Get me out of here. about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones, but isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kajé clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's Whoa. reason for declining. This guy's We're voice. We're here to invite him to the academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Harabatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now that I've voice, come here wow, I can hear. I see. I hear the gravitas. Uh, yes. And I figured that given yes. his temper, he would yes. come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you 
mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Gondarvaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. That was a good scene. That guy's angry. <laughs> that guy looks at Paimon like... Uh, Tainari, what was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities. This is a here. whole movie. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right. We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice. Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? What's the item? It's called an Akasha Terminal. Oh, it's wow. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the, the terminal. legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh, oh, but wait, before that... We need to say goodbye to Kale. That's right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go! Farewell. And good luck to you both. That's right. Komaisa, we're going to do, yeah, 24-hour Sumeru stream. This is it. Could you imagine if I ever did that? That would be, seriously, that would be so nuts. I know some streamers do, like, a 24-hour stream. I would have to clear my schedule and make sure I have nothing going on. But I don't know. I might be able to do it. I might actually be able to do it sometime. I don't know if it'll be for Sumeru, because I'm hoping, you know, I'll get caught up here soon, but... I don't know. That would hurt. What's up, Bearded Nylon? Yeah, that would for sure be nuts. Bearded Nylon's like, yeah, the mods would definitely love that one. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be, uh, that'd be crazy. What if I just never turn off the stream, huh? What if I just keep it going? What if I just do, yeah, what if I just do a subathon? How does that work on YouTube? What if I just keep it rolling? I'm probably going to move sometime within the next, uh, I mean, I'm hoping to move sometime within the next few months and maybe I'll do a subathon. I'll invite a bunch of friends over, a bunch of voice actors you guys might know. Never mind. I guess I should just be fun. a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see Thanks, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Oh, and by the way, uh, 
uh kira haven't you done lantern right i haven't really did like did anything much for lantern right this time uh, like this year around but i did it last year did a lot of the lantern right stuff i think i did every lantern right thing last year um take care of yourself kale don't worry about me i can take care of myself my condition won't be getting in the way of my duties i want to be a forest ranger after all it's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here and uh well uh i'm sorry i should have told you both about my condition when we first met i just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend we not some girl that needs your sympathy but i guess now i understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine kale, with one another. you are so relatable there's no need to apologize kale we should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What do we got? What, is it? what do we have here? It's my recipe for pita pockets. Pita pockets! I'd give you a copy, remember? My hand is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Of course we will. Well then, yeah. I, Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gandarvaville Ooh. again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Okay, hold on. I just I need you guys to say hi to my chair. Talk to my chair for a minute. Just talk to my chair. Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do. All right, were you guys nice to my chair? Did you say good things to him? Did you give him, uh, give him good vibes? My chair. I am so excited, by the way. Um, Cause I went to my, oh my gosh, I have not even been over through here. Jeez, dude. Okay, let's unlock some waypoints while we're doing this. Uh, I am so excited because I get to go to Abu Dhabi this year for uh, Middle East Film and Comic Con. That's like, it's literally like, a, it's like a month away. Um, and then I also get to go to uh, the UK for Anime UK. So guys, like I, I will, like, I am just so excited. I can't tell you, I would, I'm doing everything in my power to like be out there. You know, if like, if I'm, I, I don't know, I could be like dying or something and I will crawl my way onto the plane <laughs> so that I can go to both of those places. 
I'm so excited. I think I was supposed to go. I was supposed to go to uh, like Ireland and a couple other places last. Or was that last year? The year before? But I wasn't able to go. Um, I had a bunch of crazy stuff come up and the deadlines for work. Like, man, you guys don't even know. Sometimes it's really stressful <laughs> trying to get everything done by like the project deadline. Um, but yes. I don't know. I'm. I have made everyone aware. I've you know booked out multiple times. I've cleared my schedule. My agents know. My the production knows for the shows that we'll be recording. Like during those times, I'm like I cannot miss going somewhere this time. Like I'm not missing it. So I will be there if anybody wants to uh, come hang in uh, in Abu Dhabi or UK. And then I'll be going to a ton of other conventions around around the US. I'm going to uh, Level Up Expo, be there on Friday. If you guys are if you guys are there in Vegas. Um, I'm going to uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. And after that, after those two, then I go then I go right to Dubai, I think. So, yes. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry. That won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Zach, what if you became a VTuber with Sayu? Legit. That's funny you say that, because I am already a VTuber. Uh, Nick M, it was so cool getting to hear more of you in this Archon Quest. Sumeru has been my fave by far in general. Yo, yeah, it was so cool recording those lines. Um, I'm just glad he got to say more. Anytime, anytime he gets a chance to say more, I'm like, yes. Yes. Uh, Ember, Ember, Ember Thrace. Ember, I'm like, am I not reading this right? Thank you. Welcome to the earbuds. <laughs> Luca, welcome to the earbuds. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved greater lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy. A treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. There's more that I'll have to share about VTubing stuff. Let's just say that. There's more I do have to spill about that. It's not a complete meme. <laughs> So, but now's not the time for that. <laughs> not yet. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. VTuber side hustle. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Wisdom. Maybe we can use it to find a way to meet lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <laughs> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Okay, I got a okay, I have a I have a legit question for you guys. Um I don't know, I hope a whole bunch of people don't see this cuz okay. So if you were me, this is like so serious. <laughs> um if you were me and you like did VTubing would you want people to know that you're the VTuber? Like, would it be, I think, I feel like it would be super obvious that it's like me, right? Like, wouldn't it be obvious? Like, wouldn't you be able to tell even if I did like change my voice or would you not, do you think you might not be able to know entirely? 
like if if I used if I used a different microphone and had different settings and you know the voice was a little bit you know, like different or something I don't know just talk like this the entire time um or <laughs> like I don't know just do something weird would you be what would you prefer I guess it's kind of interesting because um how do I say this I feel like I, I know not everybody feels this way, but personally, I feel this way. I feel like I have an obligation. I have a I have standards, like industry standards as an actor who has been a part of certain projects, right? Like I've worked on some really big, awesome, cool, important projects. And because of that, because I'm connected with these companies like Sony or Hulu or Disney or Netflix, I feel like... I can't always like certain things that I might want to say as like a VTuber, you know, or if I made a joke about like a Disney show, you know what I mean? Or, or a Netflix show or some, some show that, you know, that maybe I, maybe I'm not even a part of, but maybe like, you know, the company owns, I feel like I wouldn't be able to say those things. Do you, un you understand what I'm saying? Like I, like there's just like a certain standard. I think you have to like hold for yourself and granted i know some people do not care like they do not give a rip like they will just go off if they don't like something they'll just go completely off but for me like i could see that like if, as an ex from an executive point of view i'd be like wow zach is really out there like saying a whole bunch of like stuff about our shows i don't really know if we should work with him anymore like you know i don't want that to be a thought in somebody's head so i always try to like just be careful about like ragging on something or hopping on the bandwagon bandwagon of hate for something because I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know if this is, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's a, it, it's a, <laughs> it's a hard choice. Um, yeah, it, you got, you make it into like a different, it's like a pros and cons thing. I got to find the time for it and whatnot but uh i do want to leak something random to you guys here that i uh that i do actually have a full vtuber model everything completely done art stream layouts everything i've had it done for the past two and a half years i've had it ready to go i had a separate account for it everything um but uh i just have not had the time to do anything with it and i'm sure the artist who the artist uh you know she's super super talented the artist who made the model for me um i'm sure she's a little dis i mean i'm i would be a little disappointed too i'm sure she, she's a little disappointed that i have not used it really at all yet so um yeah i mean we'll see there's more to come with this you guys will see stay tuned uh no, it's not it's not entirely active, but there is an account for it. Um, I don't know if you'll find it. You maybe you'll find it out there somewhere. Uh but yeah. That's right. It's just a it's a it's D Luke's model. It's just it's D Luke with the McDonald's hat. D Luke, can I take your order? He doesn't sound like this, but he does now. Yes. Always be your guide. Thank you, sir. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm, seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Yo, Faye! Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. That's cr it said five gifted subs, but I think it's more than that. One, two, three, four, 
One, two, three, four, five. Never, I, never mind. I just can't. One, two, three, four, five. No, it is five. I just can't count. Thank you so much. I forget that YouTube allows that now. You can like gift memberships. Huh, the same happened to me. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it. Paimon's brain is exhausted. I'll try asking the Akasha or something else, whatever, yeah. What's the meaning of life? Uh-oh. I'm getting all teary-eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their Archon. Because we're outlanders, and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. True, maybe we're not. Uh, Veronica, welcome back for 12 months. I can't believe it's been a year. Veronica, thank you so much. Time does fly. It flies like the wind. Thank you for being here for a whole year. That's crazy. Seriously, you guys are, like, you are awesome. Uh, just for sticking around the streams for so long. I know I'm like horrible with them this year. I promise I've been saying this for a while, but I swear to you all right now, the streams are going to pop the hell off this year. I'm doing everything. I'm doing vlogs. I'm going to do probably a subathon. I'm moving. I'm getting voice actors. I'm having, I'm inviting them to my house. We're having the rager. It's going to be awesome. And I'll go around with IRL camera. I'll stream everybody. You'll see, you'll see uh, Sarah Miller Cruz get absolutely wasted. She'll be like, woo! Woo! She'll just be screaming in people's faces. Woo! Um, <laughs> uh, Ari Suja says, uh, I finally got to try ketchup chips for the last time I went to Canada. They were amazing. I'm telling you, they are awesome. They're awesome. Love me some ketchup chips. See. Oops. Damn it. I keep doing that. I'm trying to press V to see. I use, I'm pressing V, but I press B instead, and then it cuts Paimon off, and it's it's okay. Paimon talks enough, I guess. It's fine. Hello. Are you Rohali? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Yes. You see, Tainari sent us here, and... What? Tainari? I... Please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Uh, I, I think you've misunderstood us. Here, this is a letter from Tainari. Oh, let me see. Ah, ooh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? 
Veronica, you got to meet uh, Alex. Good old pal Zenny too. Stay away from Nezuko. Uh, that's awesome. And uh, Anit asks, uh, "What state am I moving to?" Oh, I'm staying here in California. I'm not. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm. I'm staying here. But I am moving. I'm moving. Moving houses. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? Just need some more space. You meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? You too? Than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorostana or made a public appearance. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Hmm. Aw, but then what can we do? <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. Yeah, thanks. I... Tell for me, nothing if you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages come find me so by area of expertise hey, come on. this is a survival skill at the academia that's what you meant Aww. Simon's expectations were pretty low but this is so low it's like digging <gasps> Still one other person we know. Like who? Ad Astra Abyssosk. Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Adventurer's Guild. Abyssosk. Intel Network. Let's hurry and find her. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Adventurer's Guild is always ready to serve you. Applesauce. Assistance. We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. All right, we're waiting. Okay, we're just we're still waiting. I apologize. But I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, 
The Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Core of Thirty? What a weird name. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asfond, an advisor with the Core of Thirty, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight. There's just a lot happening in, in this quest, you know? I'd like to get in contact with him. There's just a lot of names and information being thrown at me. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, I'm just a dude who just wants to kill things and get money. Mora. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look That's all I want. Exploits in Sumeru. It's just kind of a lot, you know, for one person. Honestly, this is like me sometimes when a like <laughs> there have been times when I'll go in for a show and the director will tell me and I'm just playing like a I'm playing a random like one off character, like an incidental character that nobody ever cares about. <laughs> and like people, people don't even like, I don't know. He has probably like 10, 20 lines. The director will tell me the, the complete story, like the life story of everything. Like, okay, so it all started when this happened, and then this was the very start, and then this character meant this character, and that, and what, my point is, is that, like, none of it is relevant to what I actually have to do, like, in the show. <laughs> it's just, like, a lot of backstory. Sometimes it's nice, but other times I'm like, oh, yeah, I gotcha, for sure. <laughs> totally understand what you're talking about. about something and star stipe welcome back for 15 I months so Catherine's the one who sent you this way i gotta say yumi gaming welcome to the air buds thank you thank you welcome appreciate you guys <laughs> it's true that the aramites network is vast but even i can't help you meet the dendro archon Wait, seriously? That's it? <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? Why is that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late greater lord Rugadabara. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? Hmm. Oh, after hearing all of that... Poor Lesser Lord Kusanali. Lesser Lord Kusanali. <laughs> but who knows? I would be sad if that was my title, Lesser Lord. Like, I'm still great, but not as great as someone else worry about her reputation among people like us all right well thanks for the info Osfond. 
<laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurer's Guild. <sighs> Seems Osbond was right about most people's attitudes here. Lucero, uh, if you're asking my Harry Potter house, I'm uh, I'm actually Slytherin. Funny enough, I took the test ones and I chose the Book of Power. I don't know. I think I'm a little. I have a little bit of that like devious energy, and I chose the powerful book. And uh, that it, yeah, that it put me in Slytherin. It's like, yeah. What would you like to do? Do you want to save everybody? Do you want to? Would you like to save everyone? Like cure the world, or would you choose like? Unlimited power. And I chose unlimited power. Go get Boba, Christina. Go do it. Who are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes, we are, random person that we have not met yet. And the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Yep, that's oh, correct. I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyar Zod. One of Lesser Dunyar Zod. Finally, it's about time. Oh, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Can you tell us the legend? Sure. It goes like this. Tell us. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in the hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then what happened? And then the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun, and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. Damn, I can... I can feel the emotion. I can feel it. That's what you feel, Pipe. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusnali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So, did you two know that, uh. uh I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Okay. I wonder what's going on. What happened with her? Spymon says. Woo. I think it has something to do with those people over there. And I saw um, Anit ask a little bit earlier about like being just getting started in voiceover stuff. Um, you know, it's there's like so many things you could do. I would just recommend like getting a microphone reading all sorts of acting all like anything that you can um i know twitter has like on like auditions you can do to get online try to get on every like casting list that you can um i mean there's just it's so difficult there's so many things you can do like the goal if the goal is to be in an anime or video game look up the games and anime that the studios have worked on because it's all in the credits uh look them up 
and uh, look them up and try to, you know, get a get a mentor, make a demo reel that's like a minute long and then submit it to those studios that work on your favorite anime and games and ask for the opportunity to audition for or to be put on like their audition list. And then maybe they'll send you an audition. Uh, I mean, there's there's just so many there's so many different like paths and stuff I think you can you can do to to try to get into it looks like they're searching for into something. this. Everybody's got a different path for sure. No, we can't. Let's, see if we can get rid of Let's go mess him up, Paimon. Let's do it. Hey, have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? They're looking for well, maybe I have. Huh? Maybe I have. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrist? Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she went that way. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I, I just saw her. I'd be like, where? Have you checked your butthole? Huh? Have you checked there? Quick, after her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while. Let's hurry and find Junior's eye. Have you checked there? Yo, Star Stipe, thanks for the ten dollar super chat. Until the Fire Nation attacked, only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop him. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed, and my brother and I discovered the new Avatar, an airbender named Dang. And although his airbending skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. Ha! Yeah! Ooh! As he gets hit with the thing or whatever. But I believe Aang can save the world. Previously on Avatar. I like the show a little bit. You know, it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right. I don't have it all memorized or anything. I don't know the title name of every single episode. Really? Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. Uh-oh. Looks like there are some coming this way. Huh? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! Run! No, wait. I, uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. Okay, then let's hide. Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. Run it for my life! Like that. All right. Let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. Cool. Let's get out of here. Yes. Let's let's oh. I'm gonna summon the sponge. No, no. <laughs> Lady Daniela, thanks for the gifted sub. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Our gifted members. Stand down, Dia. The uh. My lady, who are these two? They're travelers that I met on the street. Just a moment ago. I'm putting Dia for sure on my main team. They helped me hide. For sure, for sure. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Wait a sec. Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! Junior Zod already said she'd 
doesn't want to go back. Why are you still pushing her? Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How much? Wait, what? How much mora do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. My lady, this isn't about mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. And knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is going to hurt you. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. They still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father. And I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. Then do it. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need Ugh. someone to cover you. Stretching, dude, I can't sit in this chair for so long. You hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay deal yay looks like they've reached an understanding <laughs> yes <sighs> junior zod are you all right i'm fine really I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down <sighs> my lady stop trying to look tough we're already in a tavern so let's rest up and grab some grub i'm sorry for worrying you too if you don't mind i'd like for you to join us Sure! After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yes, we do. This is cool. Love this tavern. Oh, Aldian. Thanks for the super. Well, it isn't Dia. Haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Um, if the traveler is gonna possess seven elements, like, what if he got back to sent back to the beginning again? Cause like the save file messed up. Like what? Like the Hoyoverse server goes down, and I have to like restart the game all over again. Well, <laughs> you know, I just, I, <laughs> I, I. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? 
<laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. No need to brank to to brank the bank. <laughs> we'll eat whatever you order. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're already super grateful for everything you told I'm starving. And it's not because I'm just really hungry. How about our charcoal baked Ajelena cakes? They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Okay, picky eater Paimon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Picky Paimon. Hey, come on. Paimon has personal preferences too, you know. Dunyarzai, we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke. In I also my mind. had sleep paralysis Dunyarzai, before, yes. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Don't worry, Dunyar Zod. to understand but actually i know everything about you really of course i know that you're scared of thunder that you hate taking medicine every morning and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt wow you really do know everything junior is odd is there anything you want what? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Can, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. But... I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? Can you be my friend? I can't. I'm hurting. I'm sad. After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samiel, deserts, and all of Tibet. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tafat. So, you believe the voice... Oh, she's still speaking. Uh, so, you believe the voice you heard was... Yes, for sure. 
That? If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious. It was Lesser Lord Kusanali. Nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around. It just got dark. <laughs> Behind them. What's the Subzero's festival? It's Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rupitabata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The Academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukudabata. But when it comes to the Subzeros Festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukudabata's death. So they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful! It is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? True. <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. Yeah, don't let the people I hear you. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the sub Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the estate? Nilu! That's her. Mm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. <laughs> Nilu! I didn't have much more prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much, even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. It's okay, everybody. I... You know, Nilu, I wanted to do something special for Nilu, so I so I wasn't able to pull for her on uh, when she first went around. But uh, you know, I'm I'm doing something special for her ne next time. Um <clears throat> yeah. Uh yo, Alibaba, thanks for the super chat. Good luck getting Hoot out. But of course. We're holding a Nilu themed party. I'm buying a cake. And uh, we're having a whole party just for Nilu. Getting Nilu's face printed on the cake. <laughs> yes, I'm begging. I'll I'll go beg Danny. I'll be like, please, come eat some Nilu, Nilu cake that I have gotten specially made for just for this party. I'll say please. This is a cool place. Sumeru City. It's so funny because like this is not that far away from uh, Liyue. That is so funny. It's really not, it's not that far. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Well, it is true. There's not like a direct path leading to Sumeru, I guess. So you got to kind of like, oh, yep. You want to go to Sumeru? You got to go all the way up here. Oh, we climb through the mountains or the chasm. Oh, well, yeah. And then you finally make it.
Give me that. What is this? Lord of the Desert? Oh, yeah. So many things I still got to do. That's right. This is the new, uh, the new outfit. What do you have to do to get this? You just do this, uh, do this event? Oh, did I claim the... They had rewards for... Xiao Tu? What? Oh, I know I gotta do this, too. Okay, there's, like, so much stuff to get through. Oh, jeez. Oh, you just got a battle? What are you guys talking about for the uh for the trials or the the trial character thing uh, sorry i'm late milu or for the event oh, oh the event's goodness. not long at all maybe i'll do it then here taking you so long, but I, I might go do it to give myself a break from all this story because this is kind of a lot uh -oh. yep but there's nilu here that means you got caught right? i was not prepared to watch a movie today to be honest with you but everything worked out she's on our side now i'm watching the movie <laughs> They got a lot of content in here. Oh, and who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're friends! Who just arrived at Sumeru City. She said the F word. Information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Hmm. Yes, we are. That's wonderful. You two absolutely mustn't miss the Subzeris Festival. By the way, Dunyazad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular. Thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough more? Altian, thank you. Welcome to the earbuds, by the way. Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, is this where she sings? Is this the singing part, finally? Or no, not yet. Is this the... Possibly? Or the dancing part? You know what I mean. Singing, dancing. Same stuff. Is this the... Is this the dance party? Not yet? Oh my gosh, please. I just want to see the dancing. You are an hour away from her dancing. Two hours. Dance, Nilu. Dance. Kinokami Kagura. Dance. Okay. You guys, can you guys talk to my chair for a few minutes? I'll be right back. Every 
All right. Ether was kind of tired there. Thank you for keeping my chair company. If he gets a little lonely without me, what can I say? All right. Instead of doing this, the Nilu, whatever's next on the stage here, I think it's time we do. Uh, Do this. Oh, is it right here? Yeah. Greetings. Welcome to the Citadel of Regzar. Would you be interested in taking on some commissions? Yes, sir. Jobs where we can earn loads of mora for just standing around? I'm interested. Oh, better yet, for just sitting around? That's the kind of task we're interested in now. Uh, <clears throat> we don't currently have any commissions uh, like that. Um, However, I do have some relatively simple requests from residents that will pay several thousand mora. Really? That's all? That isn't nearly enough for Paimon. The more yeah. more, the better. Andy, are there any high-paying commissions available? Ah, I see. Let me think. Hmm. Spontamod recently initiated a research project on the ley lines and is looking for paid volunteers. There are several researchers in Spontamod who specialize in studying ley lines, so there is a great demand for ley lines data. Researchers often need to enter domains to investigate ley line disorders. They have been understaffed for some time, even after recruiting a good number of their own students. So, now they've turned to recruiting large numbers of volunteers. They offer substantial pay, but they also have strict requirements for the quality of the volunteers. Are you interested? Huh. Okay. Maybe I am interested. Sorry, I'm just messing with my messing with my settings real quick. Cool. I think we got uh Let me see. Yeah, I think this is working out good. Possibly. Okay, I think we're good. Yes, what are let's the requirements? Walk the recruitment process. Hmm. First of all, are you proficient with one or more types of weapon? Uh, I'm skilled with uh. Yeah, uh, yes. One-handed swords. Very good. How's your understanding of elements? Are you capable of using elemental powers? Oh, I'm a lot. All I'm a legend. Right. I'll put yeah. you down as the traveler, right? The okay. traveler. Yes. I finished the, the, the registration. The traveler, not the traveler. I'll be traveler. the necessary the supplies traveler. and payments for volunteers later. Okay. You'll have to find Gafour for more details about the job. Okay, Gafour. However, he has an important visitor today, so I don't think he'll be in the academia. According to the standard protocol for receiving visitors, he will most likely bring the visitor to the Puspa Cafe. Mm. You can go there and talk to him when his time with the visitor has finished. He sounded like he was in quite the rush to recruit volunteers when he contacted me, but now he's showing a visitor around. Seriously, who could be so important? Yeah, who? I, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> who's, who's so important? <laughs> Oops. Let's go. <gasps> Do you still remember what the coffee's like here? Of course. How could I forget? It used to be my go-to drink here. Listen, Gafur. Uh -uh. I suppose I should call you Professor Gafur now. 
We're old acquaintances, so how about we stop beating around the bush, hmm? First you wanted to catch up, and now the coffee. If you have something to say, just say it. Oh, that's Kafur! He's the one we're searching for. Mother! But <clears throat> he seems to be busy talking uh. to someone else. Maybe we should wait for them to finish. Oh, well, it's nothing really. It's just that ever since you left the academia, our original That outfit is giving me venti vibes, backbone, funny enough. So speak. Cyrus is At also least from the side there. He's always valued you as a proud disciple. To be honest, it's a real shame that you left the academia, Lisa. With your wisdom and intellect, had you stayed in the academia, you would have become a herbot by now. It's Lisa! Hold on. That's Lisa! The librarian Lisa! Our Lisa! I might heard that Lisa had studied at the academia before, but that was a long time ago. What's Lisa doing here now? If I'm reading the situation right, you're reminiscing about the past to convince me to come back, aren't you? Well, I heard that you're currently the librarian for the Knights of Favonius in Mondstadt. If you ask me, that's a tragic waste of your talents. Damn! Why waste your time and energy on something as trivial as taking care of a library? Your time is much more valuable than that. If you're willing to come back to the Academia, I have plenty of projects for you to preside over right away. The Academia needs people right now, and some of these projects are quite important. Yawn. So all this talk Yawn. is convince me to come back. I'm guessing Professor Cyrus doesn't know that you're talking to me about this. As a matter of fact, he has long wanted you to come back and work at the Academia. Is that so? You know, Professor Gafour, it isn't a good idea to lie to people. Our teacher knows exactly why I left the Academia after only two years. He would never ask me to come back. Giving up my life in Mondstadt and returning to the Academia as a Spontamod researcher. The price of seeking wisdom is no longer something I'm willing to pay. So please, don't bother trying to get me to come back. Wow! So Lisa used to be a Spontamod researcher? Pymod's never heard her mention it before. Shh, Pymod! Besides, taking care of a library is important work. I've never considered it a waste of my time. Wisdom is hidden in every corner of the world. Never underestimate wisdom, no matter how small it may appear. That's what our teacher always said. A good scholar wouldn't overlook the small details, Gafur. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still not used to calling you Professor. Nevertheless, the underlying meaning of what you just said is simply wrong. And there's one other detail you probably haven't noticed. Two people have been eavesdropping on us for quite a while now. Uh, you, know, you can't see me. Is there anything we can help you two uh, with? I'm not here. I'm a book. Uh, hello, Lisa. Long time no see, Lisa. Well, if it isn't you two. Long time no see, cutie. Paimon. Oh, hi. Excuse me, but what business do you two have here? Actually, we're here to participate in a research project on ley lines for Spontamod. We just finished registering with Effendi. Which is when we happen to run into you, Lisa. A research project on ley lines? Oh, darling, you haven't joined the academia, have you? Oh, only as project volunteers. All right. Effendi told us a research project is looking for paid volunteers. That's what we came to see Gafur about. Paid volunteers? Gafur, is the academia really that understaffed? Or are there projects that insist on the use of outsiders? No, no. The paid volunteers are for a conventional project to monitor the ley lines. All operations follow the prescribed safety protocols. We rely on a lot of manpower to collect the data. There's no way around it now. But if only you would agree to come back and preside over some matters, we wouldn't have to go through all this nonsense. Hmm. When blame. memory serves me right, collecting ley lines data requires investigators to go deep into domains, which can be dangerous. We've seen our fair share of combat since leaving Mondstadt. Ex 
Exploring a domain is like a walk in the park to us. It's been so long now. I can only imagine what wonderful stories you have to share. Mm hmm So there's nothing to worry about. Since you two are here to apply for the project, then please wait a moment while I talk to Lisa. I'm sorry, Gafur. My answer is still no. Aren't you even a little bit interested? Stay away from Lisa, you weirdo! I have never regretted my decision to leave the Academia. And I don't think that will change in the future. I thought after all this time you would have a different answer. It's me, guys. I'm the new voice of Morty. As ever, Lisa. I'm glad you found out this way. You've made yourself clear. I'll only make a fool of myself if I keep insisting. In that case, I still have unfinished business to take care of, so I'll take my leave. See you at the Darshan reunion in a few days. Yes. Don't worry. I'll be there on time. As for you two, please come see me later in the Mautiyama Forest when you're free. We'll need your help with the volunteer work. Maybe I don't want to oh, help. One last thing, Lisa. Yes? Weirdo. I wish you the best of luck in Mondstadt. <sighs> Thank you. Well then, cuties. Now that the recruiter is gone, we can sit down and have a good chat. Recruiter? Wait, what, there, there was a recruit, recruit, recruiter? Uh huh. <laughs> Much has been happening within the academia, and Gafur is paving the way for his future. By the way, Lisa, what brought you to Sumeru? Are the knights okay with you being gone? Yeah. How did you make your way of all the course. way over here? Jean gave me an extended paid vacation. It's a long ways away. It's rare that I get any time off, so I thought to myself. Why not go on a trip and relax a little? I don't know how much of our conversation you heard, but I studied in the Spontama Darshan at the Academia for two years. But instead of staying at the Academia after graduation, I went back to Mondstadt to become the librarian for the Knights of Avonius. So that's why you came to Sumeru, right? To walk around and meet with your old friends and teachers. Why did you choose to leave the Academia? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? Yes, I well, would. I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. After all, it was ages ago. If anything, it all boils down to a difference in philosophy. When I first came to the academia, Professor Cyrus really appreciated my work and invited me to participate in several major projects. But most of those projects ended in failure. To be honest, they went too far trying to achieve wisdom beyond mortal understanding, so failure was only to be expected. I didn't want any part of that lunacy, so I left. Anyway, now that I told you, make sure you keep it between us. Will do. Hmm. Sounds like you've experienced a lot. I don't wish to return to the Academia, even if Professor Cyrus came to ask me personally. Rather than conducting experiments day and night, I'm much more suited for working hours that start after 10 a.m. with regular afternoon tea every day. That does sound oh, nice. Oh, Lisa chose to be a librarian because she doesn't want to deal with hassles all the time. That is Lisa's style. I prefer to take uh, things same. I'll be a librarian when it too. Comes to tiring tasks like a job. And besides, being able to take regular vacations is also really important. It's a pity I didn't even have time to visit that child in Gandharvaville yet. Gafur found me just after I arrived in Sumeru. Speaking of which, what about you two? What brings my favorite cuties to Sumeru? I see. So you came to Sumeru in search of information on Lesser Lord Kusanelli, the god of wisdom. The two of you have more pressing issues than entertaining a tourist like me. I wanted to walk around Sumeru with you, but now doesn't seem like the right time. <sighs> what a pity. It's very rare for us to meet like this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not that busy. Oh. Then would you like to spend some time with me, darling? That would be wonderful. 
Okay. I plan to spend the next few days visiting around Sumeru City. At the end of my stay, I'll leave from Kandarvaville and return to Mondstadt via Liyue. Who knows? Perhaps we'll bump into each other again in Sumeru City or Gandharvaville. Hmm, come to think of it, there's something romantic about such a chance encounter like this. It's like icing on the cake for this little vacation of mine. If you see me around, be sure to come and say hello. Otherwise, I might start feeling lonely. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that wasn't, like, weird or anything. That was fine. That was, that was cool. I think. All right. Now we got to go up here. Guess I'm going to teleport up this way. Got to unlock more waypoints. Here, let's get Daddy Long Legs out so we can get running. Nice. I'm running. Running for my heart. Was Sarah here? What? Sarah? Where is she? Oh, it was that bot. There you are. Looks like you two are ready. Yo, thanks for stopping by and eat. You have a good one. Yes, I have played Final Fantasy VII Remake. I loved it. I played all of them, I believe. Very well. Let me inform you of some details. Spontamod has been involved with the ley lines for a long time, and it's imperative that their current is constantly monitored. This research project was also organized to help meet this demand. However, because of normal fluctuations often occur in Sumeru domains, we must regularly send people deep into various domains to record the situation with the ley lines. Since it's often dangerous inside the domains, we've established a rule of only dispatching personnel with combat capabilities. It'll be your task to go into the domain and record any ley line anomalies. However, if you encounter any danger, please prioritize your safety. Well, those are all the necessary details. When you're ready, you may enter the domain. Yes, sir. I will do that. Okay, so this is the event, right? You go into this little, uh... This thing into the unknown. Dull blade time. That's right. All right. What am I doing this on? Normal. I think I. I think I can do it on normal. I think that's fine. It's nice, they give us the trials, okay. So what should we do for this one? Let's see. All right. Cool, uh, this is looking good to me, I think. Possibly. Uh. So some characters you can use like multiple times, I see. Hold on. I'm gonna throw in throw in all in there. Wait. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm struggling. Come on. Cool beans. Wait, who else do we need? Uh. Uh. Yes. Sure. Go. It's fine. I don't need skills. We're good. I need a challenge. Okay, never mind. I might need skills. I feel like this is only going good because I have gone you, but when I don't have gone you, this is gonna suck. What is her old to again? Okay, you know what? Hoot out time. I gotta practice with people that aren't just gone you. And then I go back to gone you. Am I doing it? The goat. Wait, you can rearrange the character order? Can you really? Oh, and not, not really, okay. It's like, can you choose whole new characters? That'd be nuts. Get me out of the bubble. Please kill that one. Just just kill this one, please. Thank you. Stabilize. Oops. I missed. That was so bad. Oh my gosh, I'll hate them. Whoa. Never mind. Why am I using Hu Tao? I'll just use I'll hate them. Oh, 
Nice. Damage. Oh, did I get the gold? Is that the best one you can get? Trying time to do it on hard mode. Oh, there's platinum. Oh my gosh. So wait a sec. Hold on. Ten thousand. So we got nine thousand two seventy. Oh, so wait, so they make getting this super easy, right? Hmm. Let's see what we got here. This one might be interesting. Hard mode? Actually, that one might be too hard. It's hard mode on this one. Okay, so I don't forget the skills. All right, let me see what we got here. Let me see what we got. We have all party members received the 60% pyro damage. Pyro for sure. Oh, right clip. And then we have... Uh, oh, wow. Crit damage. Ooh, that'd be insane. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. I think I just won already. <laughs> I have gone you. <laughs> That's crazy. Um... This little fly going around. Um, I wonder if I should try out try some venti. Try some put put some venti in there. Oops. Actually, Hu Tao. Venti. Yen Fei in there. Let's see. Ooh, I already have gone you in three of them. I could still throw. I could throw Diona in this one. Coco me. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll throw Ether in there. Why not? And then uh. <laughs> So they've got to be different. I see different ones. Um, there could probably be so much more strategy behind this, but uh, I'm just kind of going with it. Uh, sure, that looks good. Cool. Why not? Born of ice and frost. This is long overdue. Whoa. Next on the agenda. Hold on. This is hard. What the heck? And I have the crit rate on, too. The crit rate thing. Born of 
nice and fast. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Is pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Ow! Stop! Access denied. Hit the flower! Hit the little lotus thing! Born of ice and frost. We're way behind Skithor Rex Lapis. Stabilize! Oops, wrong one. Think about this. Think about what I want to do here. are scary. This is very hard, people. This is too hard for me. I'm gonna die. I can't do this. Can get away? I can't do this, guys. Born of ice and frost. Blaze over. There is no clutching this one. This is too difficult. Can't do this. Yeah. I do need a healer. Let me I thought I didn't need one. Scatter. I can't believe I got so close though. Just kill me. Okay, hold on. Is there is there hope? Never mind. There is no hope. Oh, I thought I had it with Ganyu.
All right, hold on. Let's go back to the let's go back to the drawing board. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh. You see, I want to have Venti for all three. But at the same time, I feel like I need I need Ganyu, you know? Maybe Kokomi for the two. That was just the second one, right? We weren't even we weren't even there. That was just the second one. Hmm. Hold on, I think I have a better idea. Hold on, how do I... How do I erase... Okay, so... I think we need Ganyu for all three. Kokomi for two. Hmm... Hmm. That's right, Diana does heal. Or it's Diana, Diona. Same thing, you know what I mean. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, hold on, I'm thinking about this. I feel like for the second one I need like Really try to rely on ice for this last one, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let's try this out. Ow. Oh my gosh. Please. We're way behind schedule. You know how sometimes the camera doesn't always zoom in? I actually kind of like that. Just so I can see like what is happening. It's, a, it's easier to see that view. I don't know why it doesn't always do that though. Or if there's a way you can keep the camera from zooming in, you know what I mean? Or like playing the whole animation thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just... Come on, Ganyu. Just carry me through this. Of ice and frost. Access denied. This looks like that Pokemon. Forget what it's called. 
I don't want to say shroomish. It's like, what is that thing? It starts with an A, maybe? Is it Breloom? That might be it. I don't know if it was smart to blow my ultis there, but that did also seem pretty cool. So, worth, maybe? Patrick? Yo, is Patrick here? Don't let him watch me struggle, guys. We're, do we're doing good, right? Tell him we're doing good. Don't don't tell him we're... we're yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> everything's good. We're not struggling here. I know what I'm doing. I'm a pro at this game. Totally. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? I wanted to go the other way. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. I think we got this. We're doing good. Actually. I think we're doing all right. Yay! I'll take it. We did it.
with just a little strategy and a lot of love and a lot of believing and a lot of crying tears and blood we did it yes we did 13k baby 13 heck yeah get me out of here Whew. slay slay girl slay yas um oh wait what am i doing give me my my rewards Oh, wait, you have to complete all the challenges? Oh, what? I thought it was just... Okay, all right, I see. Okay, I guess we're not done yet. We will complete all of these challenges. We will do this. Just do low difficulty. <laughs> you know, I just might. Um, just get me through. Get me through this. Up the difficulty. Yes, low. I'll just do... I can just do easy, right? Just get me through them. I don't know. We're fine. Yeah, now I can cheese through the lower... Yeah, they, did, they didn't make it that hard. They Everybody can get the outfit, right? It's like... Everybody's got the outfit. It's fine. Wait. Oh, are there more primo gems you can get if you do it on hard? Or no or is that on normal? Is that what it said? Okay, just just get me through this. Um, oh, wait. Let's see. Uh, and then we'll get. Uh, they make it. It's a little. It is a little confusing watching it like go all the way around. You see this? The way that they had Shangling's uh, thing go around. Uh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I meant to add the Raiden Shogun in. Okay, perfect. Cool. I think it's... This is good. Sure. Sure. No touching! Oh, this guy. We're way behind schedule. Cool beans. Beans are cool. This is why you gone you, everybody. This is why you gone you. That's why you gone you. Don't, uh, don't doubt the Ganyu. Uh, 
I'm cheesing. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> this is so funny. Why? I, like, I know it's easy difficulty, but... Okay, now... This is gonna be... This gotta be harder. One step closer to victory, everybody. We're almost there. Ba, 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 ba. Easy. Go with the. No, I want Shao's the last one. Uh, da, 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 da. No. Okay, I have to. Okay. Um. Oops, not the animal one. Uh, this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Sure, why not? It's fine. Yo, Patrick, thanks for stopping by, man. You have a good one. conquering Yeah. 
Prepare to suffer. Burn. Suffer! Last one. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Um. Let's see. Getting Benny on there. Finally. I'll just use the Windblade Master for the rest of it. Christina does both of the voices for uh for Benny and Xingqiu. That's crazy. All right. Well, I think we can do it everybody. We got the outfit. Give me that outfit. Heck yeah. So that's the thing. Do you guys... I can't remember. Is this... Uh, like, if you don't um, get this outfit, is it still available for purchase later on or something? Is that how it works? Uh... 
Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. That's not bad. Oops. Wrong button. Nobody saw that. It's fine. I always wondered why you couldn't hit them off the edge. That would be cool. I guess that'd be cheating. Oops. those gems oops all right I think we did it What are you guys talking about? It's something about not jumping. Boats are made for transferring commodities <laughs> back and forth. And those that come across Leo. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer. Suffer everybody. Um Okay. Uh <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, okay, uh, anyways, guys, uh, I, uh, I think this is where I'm gonna call it. I'm feeling it a little bit, and I do have to work. We, this has almost been like a four hour long stream, so I wanna say thank you to everybody for coming out to this one. Um, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate it, uh, but, yeah in, until until the next one i guess uh yes i'll let you all know how my disneyland trip goes and whatnot so i'm excited for that and um yeah I'm, I'm just trying to think about the next game. time when i can stream don't rush hopefully hopefully not too long i don't know i just want to do i just want to do fun stuff and Possibly stream it if I can. Who knows? Is there? Is it possible to do Osmantis a Disneyland stream? Wine tastes the same as I remember. I don't know. Maybe. But where are those who share? That would be memory? awesome. I need to go buy a um. Go get like a portable portable battery pack or something and uh, do the do the Disneyland stream. Um. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much, and uh, until until uh, next time, okay? <laughs> Bye, guys. Do a vlog? Yeah, that's a good idea. Could do a vlog. Cool. All right. See you guys. Thanks for coming.